Building an API is pretty straightforward. But to build a well structured API, it takes some time and effort to set up all the necessary files. But once you have set up everything, the rest is just manual work. You started by learning about the entity data models, how they are related to SQL database tables, and also created your first model. Next, you set up the entity framework core where you installed the libraries, you created the AppDB context file, which we said was the translator between C -sharp and SQL code, and also seeded the database by adding some default values to the database to get started with. Now that everything was set up, you created your first controller and your first service. You configured the service file in the startup.cs and started creating your API endpoints. To add new data to the database, you added an HTTP POST endpoint. To get data from the database, you used an HTTP GET. To update existing data, you added an HTTP PUT endpoint. And to remove data from the database, you added an HTTP delete.